What's up, Ned? What's Game Over Joey here? And with me as always, Domo99. What's up? And our newest member, Floridian Buckeye. Hey, Nitwits. And for today's episode of Nitwits Talk, Sony is increasing prices in select territories. And guess what? I have the blog pulled up from Jim Ryan himself, so that way you don't have to go back and read this blog yourself. Sit back, relax, grab a soda, some chips, and, and, and enjoy the uh, podcast today. Jim Ryan writes, The global economic environment is a challenge that many of you around the world are no doubt experiencing. We're seeing high global inflation rates, as well as adverse currency trends impacting consumers and creating pressure on many industries. Based on these challenging economic conditions, Sony Interactive has made the difficult decision to increase the recommended retail price of the PlayStation 5 in select markets across Europe, Middle East, Africa, Asia Pacific, Latin America, as well as Canada. There will be no price increase for the United States. The new prices below are effective immediately unless otherwise noted. While this price increase is a necessity given the current global economic environment and its impact on Sony Interactive's business, our top priority continues to be improving the PlayStation 5 supply situation so that as many players as possible can experience everything that the PlayStation 5 has and what's still to come. Thank you for your continued support. Jim Ryan. One key thing to keep in mind here, I, I and, and is that Jim Ryan himself is stating that these are the, all the key things that are causing them to increase price, which is just insane to think about because he states himself in this article that we as consumers are experiencing this too. And I just can't see how he feels that this is a good move for PlayStation. But enough said, Dago, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are that he is blowing smoke i think i think instead of saying thank you for your continued support i, I think it should it should be thank you for adding more money to my pockets honestly um i do i do feel bad for my for my brothers in different countries for ha having to pay um i want to say such a uh a high price dollar amount for for a console um i just did the quick math it is about Seven hundred and eighty-nine dollars. If you wanted the the um, the disc drive PlayStation in New Mexico, uh, I think that is seven way too high. Seven eighty-nine. Yes. Wow, that's almost the price of PC. I know. Yes. you're almost at a, <laughs> at a higher end gaming PC now. Yeah, that's that's insane. So yeah, so I think I think it's. I think that that price that price jump is is way too high. Um, and to add one thing, Joe, Xbox and Nintendo are not hiking their price; they're keeping their price to what to what it is right now. That, no, that's a good point to add there. Uh, yeah, they're keeping it at four ninety nine ninety nine for the Xbox and two ninety nine for ninety nine for the Switch, and then for the Switch OLED, it's three forty nine ninety nine. So, yeah, that's insane to think. You, you, this, this economic issue that they're facing, I'm sure it's affecting every company. <laughs> but PlayStation apparently is the only one making the move. Good call out, man. Good call out. So, Dom, do you think this makes sense? Um, or do you agree with Dago? You know, I, I agree with Dago, but I've never heard of a company making $87.8 billion, um, you know. In 2021, that's almost a 10% increase from last year, and blame it on inflation when other companies haven't done the shit, um, especially their competitors. So I don't know if you know we're gonna sit here and completely like, oh, it's it's completely inflation. We can't afford it when you're still making the profit off everything you're doing. Um, another thing too, just to bring up about this, is they're now selling PlayStations in bundle packs, so it's all profit for Sony. Um, it's just. Sony's been real scummy this year, and especially with the new generations, Sony has kind of just, I think, taken a back seat, and that's why if you look at 2022 year, their profits are down to only, you know, $83 billion. Man, that's a rough drop-off. 
but it's also poor playing by Jim Ryan, who's constantly just done horrible things over and over again for PlayStation. They can't compete with Game Pass. You know, another shout out to Game Pass. Although it's double the size, the PlayStation Plus is of Game Pass. Game Pass comes out with new games, and all you get with PlayStation Plus is a cat game. Like, there's there's nothing that PlayStation has done to be like, oh, we're so much better, we're going to raise our prices, and you guys still want to come to us. It's just, it's crazy to me, Joe. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. And and realistically, Jim Ryan is the downfall of Sony. Yeah. And he truly is. He he has shown how greedy he is. Now, I I, I get that anyone can argue that they're a company. Companies are made the, you know, they need to profit, right? That's what they're in there for. They're in there to make money. But realistically, was this the best move? No, it was not the best move. Your competitors are not doing it. And then the fact that you're really trying to sneak it under the radar. And in a sense, like you said, Dom, they are giving us that price hike. We're paying $550 for a bundle. And that bundled game is Horizon. And that is a Sony Studio developed game, which is 100% profit for Sony. Therefore, that $550, they're getting that $50 profit that they need that they state they need right yeah consoles have always been sold at a price where they they weren't making money right they either broke even or they lost money that's how it's always been all the money has always been made by the sale of the games on the digital front or the retail front and on digital side of things Sony's charging 30% total. Like that's that's their cut from a sale of any digital item on the PlayStation Store. Again, that comes out to what? $21, $22 per $70 game purchase. That is just astronomical when you think about it. And just insane with, with, with the amount of profit that they're already making off of these games. And then they feel that this additional profit needs to be made. I, I think go ahead Dom. I just think also something to point out too is they're all of a sudden going to do this like price increase because inflation and everything but let's not forget arguably the game of the year is coming out on November 9th in God of War God of War is coming it's PlayStation one of their biggest hitters people are going to buy it buy the system buy the bundle buy everything just to play God of War God of War right now with how weak this year has been in video games could easily win game of the year it, this also is just the, the Scummy is my word to describe everything about this, but it's such a sales pitch. It's such an easy way for them just to profit a ton of money for no reason, doing nothing except screwing over people. I, I just, I don't know, man. It's, it can't be a coincidence that God of War is coming and they're doing this. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And, and, and yeah, it's insane. You know, originally, uh, you know, there was a CPU shortage, right? Which is why they can't really get uh, a semiconductor issue with why they couldn't get the playstations in everybody's hand right mm -hmm. and uh there was a rumor going around that xbox had paid x amount uh, x amount of dollars to amd to allow them to manufacture more of their consoles first which which could be true right it, it wouldn't put it put it past them at all i wouldn't but again just to think that xbox and nintendo aren't increasing and PlayStation is, is just a shame. And one thing to mention too, is that PlayStation was already making $50 profit per disc console when this console launched. They, they admitted that during the earnings call that they're profiting 50 bucks. And this is how they're making up for it. And, and to me, that's just, it's, it's very, uh, disheartening is, is the best way to put it. And, uh, you know, I don't. I don't think Sony is putting us as the consumer first now, and they haven't been doing that for a long time. But I think a lot of this stems back to the PlayStation 4 era, though, that they own that generation, so they felt like they could do whatever they want this generation, yep. and they've been doing it that way, and they're losing a lot of lot of consumers that way. Yeah, it's very disheartening. Yeah, so uh, I think. Uh, go ahead, Dom. It's just crazy to me that PlayStation took over from Xbox, which was amazing to me that they actually did that. 
And they had such a stronghold, and so many people I know played PlayStation, and now it's just watching them crumble. And I did, like, being a fan of having, like, a PS1 and an Xbox, like, I've had every system, you know, back and forth, you know, we pl- played, yeah, you know, you played what you want to do. And now just seeing Sony and PlayStation constantly do this, it's just, like, why continue even messing with them? I don't want to, like, associate myself with them. It's kind of like, it sounds dumb, but it's like, it's just pathetic, is the way I at least would describe it. Yeah, it really is. It really is. And and just just for anyone that's curious about where I got that fifty dollar profit that um, they were making, Bloomberg actually released an article stating that the PlayStation Five cost four hundred fifty dollars to to purchase, and that's without counting labor and and retail. So I I guess you could say they were they weren't making fifty bucks on it. Well, I'm just looking specifically at $450, right? Alone, the parts, that's 50 bucks and right, right there, right? A little bit of wiggle room. Um, so that that's where the $50 came up at. Again, it, it may not be, they're truly pocketing $50, but they weren't losing anything realistically. So uh, this is just, again, to add to their overall, you know, really just to stuff their pockets. Uh, does the doggo anything else you want to add, man? Yes, I mean, um, I, th- I think as a uh, as a as a PlayStation uh, gamer, you know, I've owned a PlayStation One, Two, Three, and I currently have the PlayStation Four. Honestly, I don't feel the need or the desire to uh, go and spend my hard-earned money on a PlayStation Five, knowing knowing this kind of information. You know, I feel like I feel like PlayStation. Has purchased their their ticket to the Titanic. I first and foremost, I love the analogy, right? That's perfect, and they they really have, right? They're truly causing themselves to sink, and uh, it is it it's, it's it's insane to think that this beloved company, due to the exclusives they had made, the consoles they were making all of a sudden are becoming what Xbox became during the Xbox One generation. Uh, Dom, anything else you'd like to add, man? No, nah, man, it's just like being a gamer and seeing it, it sucks. That's just the way I feel. I feel it's just like, it's one of those fears of like, what if someone else does it, right? Like, the whole entire point of gaming is like, we're a tight-knit community and seeing something like this, it just shows like, the CEOs don't care. Like, Jim Ryan does not care. Whereas Phil Spencer on the other side, I feel is trying to make it as possible for you know, as many people play as many games as possible. You know, like it really enjoy the experience, and I feel like PlayStation is losing their touch on it. Hey, big money Phil is making the dreams come true. <laughs> he <laughs> is. <laughs> He's just buying up all the best studios and making it happen. Um, but I, I actually, I totally agree, and Dago, I think that was a really good point, too, where there's still a ton of people rocking the PS4 right now, right? And with all this negative publicity that PlayStation is currently getting, because of jim ryan it may and i shouldn't say it may it has deterred a lot of people from buying a playstation 5 and going to xbox and or building a pc so i i I think that was a good thing to bring up there and i i think that a lot of people are converting over and i know a few people myself personally that were saying hey you know what playstation yeah I've, i've had playstation since the original I grew up playing it, but you know what? Xbox is just overall the better, more consumer friendly focused company here. And they got big money Phil there. You know, Phil himself is is, is a selling point. I I truly believe that. The person behind the console, right, is Phil Mm -hmm. Spencer. He's the face of that company. And he's done a hell of a job since he's taken over before, uh, you know, it was being ran by Don Maverick. And we all know how that played out. So, um, you know, I, 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 yeah, I, I'm, I, again, very disheartened, you know, this, this is very disheartening and it's, uh, something I, you know, I hate to see, but, um, you know, it's not happening here in a sense, but it is. And for everyone else, you know, or other, uh, uh, family members, you know, cause we're gamers, right? We're all family, uh, that, that aren't here in the United States, uh, you know, it sucks and, uh. You know, we, we hope that you, uh, you know, convert over to PC or Xbox. <laughs> like, don't get us wrong. We love PlayStation. 
we you know we we dom and i both have ps5s had had every console before that dog was had all of them since the, all the way up to the ps4 and you know we, we we do like playstation i know we talk about xbox a lot here and pc gaming uh specifically game pass um about how great it is but it really is just the best value for your buck so uh but yeah that i mean that's it for me guys anything else you want to add stay classy nitwits peace love and I chicken think grease